guys, I'm going to talk about the jigging setup I got on the boat today. So I just got a size 20 hook on there. I want to go 20 or bigger if I'm jigging, typically. I'm going to dye it with dark. The pinks and whites usually do pretty good out here. Purple does pretty well. Leader, I want to go 14 or bigger. Usually make this thing about whole arm length and a half long. Just like that. Quick little loop setup. If I'm tying one of these up, it can be a simple knot like make a loop just like this I'm gonna loop it in itself two times just like this you got yourself a quick quick leader setup I'm a little choppy out here today quick little leader setup if I was doing that banana weight take that loop we just made feed it in a hole and go ahead and grab Hook side, put it in a big hole from the loop we just had made from our leader. Go ahead and cinch everything together. I make mine to where I can take it off at the end of the day if needed. Rather than cut stuff, I can just pull this loose and then take it right back off the way I put it on. I like to have beads and stuff tied to the line itself. It keeps the customers from reeling in your clip into the guide itself. So beads help prevent that. I'll go ahead and clip. The small side of this banana weight is going on my clip. Put the long side on leader. Easy way to remember that, long leader. Small one goes on the clip, just like that. Just hang it over the side of the boat. Grab your line open and drop just like that each color we use the metered braid um, each color is about 10 meters and so depending on the day you'll we can communicate with the captains and talk to them and see where the fish are typically sitting and let's say for example he said the fish are sitting he's marking fish at 80 meters so I'll drop down eight colors one color is 10 meters so real simple so I'll watch as the colors change. And we'll drop down to where we want to drop. It takes a minute. So let's say we, we get it to where we want it. Let's say the captain marks fish at 80 meters and let's say I just got there. I counted eight colors and I'm down there. I usually drop it a little further than what the captain's marking at so I can work my jig straight past the fish. So the technique about bringing it in, get a nice, nice base here on my hip. All it is, it's, it's a pump real real that's all the, the motion is it's a pump real real you want to do quick pumps followed by a quick reel down just gain that line you just pulled up and so it's just gonna look like this all right guys so we just dropped down and we're reeling it up we're doing that same action I was just talking about the pump real real we hooked into a tuna so we're just gonna finish fighting so this is about an average size tuna out here. We call them footballs. That one hit real close to the surface, so I figured it was about to be small. The, the purpose of jigging is to target bigger tuna at deeper depths. Um, so when you drop down and you drop, 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 those bigger tuna are sitting a little deeper in the colder waters. Uh, typically you catch these on the drift and stuff. Our buddy next to us here had caught that first nice tuna of the day. Um, that was on the drift and that, I'd say that was above average. Um, this is typically what you'll come across out here on little football tunas. First time jigging, first fish today, first drop. She's already hooked up. <laughs> 